Hey guys, what is going on? So I've got a little trick for you that I think a lot of you will like, and that is how to use a gimbal, one of these guys, for a slider. The reason that you would use a slider is that it gives you those very silky smooth moves, just like this. The issue with the gimbal is sometimes you got a little bounce up and down, you know, you got some other things going on, and the gimbal is smooth, but it's not like, crispy, super just gliding smooth. And you can, you know, do the whole this, but you're not gonna keep that exact level straight across. You might bounce up and down and you might have a little bit of a shake to it. So when you combine this gimbal with a tripod, you can make a silky smooth slider shot. Now the reason you might do this is like for us, for example, we're traveling all the time and having a slider with you in your pack with the gimbal, tripod, all the other accessories, it's just another piece of big Gear. And even the ones that pack down small, it's still a piece of big gear. So you always want to try to minimize as many pieces of gear as possible. You know, if you're going to have a gimbal with you, you might as well use it with your tripod to make the slider action. So basically, a lot of these gimbals nowadays will have the little tripod on the bottom. And so what you do is you hook this to your tripod, and then you got to get your camera in the mode that basically allows you to move it in any direction, up, down, left, right, and the camera stays in the exact same position. So now that you've locked the camera, basically any movement that you have, it's going to keep staying in that same position. When you put it on the tripod and you move it from left to right, you get this beautiful, silky smooth slider shot. Now the one downside to using this as your slider is that you are gonna create a little bit of an arc. So it's not gonna be as straight across, when you're doing this, as you notice, there's gonna be a little bit of an arc and it's gonna move less on the ends. So basically, it's not huge slider movements, it's small slider movements, and you might have a little bit of feathering at the beginning and end in terms of how much you're moving the shot. So keep that in mind, and you know what? It's one of those things that once you play with it, once you start going out there and shooting a bunch of slider shots, you're gonna realize where your best parts with the gimbal are to you do your slider movement. Basically, from here to here, it's a pretty awesome, smooth motion. And it doesn't bow that much. It's when you start going, you know, too far is when it really bows. The beauty of this, as opposed to bringing something like, you know, there's the new piece of equipment called a wing, which is just another form of a slider, or you have like these more compact sliders. The issue is like, it's just gear that you don't need to bring with you. You know, to get a lot of these smooth, silky shots, just like that, just a gimbal, and it gets you that perfect motion. So I've been playing around with this while I'm up here in the San Juan Islands, and it's been awesome. You can get these cool, silky smooth motions. I carry this, I carry a tripod, and I carry my cameras. Now I have taken some of the gear that I have and made another piece of equipment. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'd love to see some of your footage that you've used if you've taken your gimbal and made a slider out of it. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.